Aerodrome charts, approach procedures, route structures, last minute NOTAMs on opening or closure of airspace. Today, most of this data is printed and distributed in paper form as aeronautical information publications and NOTAMs. Eurocontrol, together with the Swedish air navigation service provider LFV, has launched the Digital AIM project. Its goal is to show the practical feasibility of information management in ATM and to show just what can be achieved when ATM data is available and shared digitally. On November the 7th, 2009, Jeppesen and LFV took part in a DAIM test flight around Stockholm Alanda Airport as part of the CISAR joint undertaking's early projects. It was the first time that a commercial data and software integrator, well known for their worldwide air and ground aeronautical data solutions, joined up with the open architecture deployed by the DAIM partners. It's early morning when the crew meet up in the briefing room to prepare for flight. The plan is to carry out a flight during which certain NOTAMs will be issued that impact that flight. The crew finishes their preparation before taxiing to runway 19 right for takeoff. On the ground, the van is fitted with the same piece of equipment as the aircraft and is used for verification and validation purposes. The electronic flight bag delivers supplemental aeronautical information via a data-driven composition of applicable and operationally relevant information. Dynamic data like the geographical position, phase of flight, or NOTAMs are updated in real time. This enables the air crew to get just the information they need for their flight at the right time according to their operational situation. Meanwhile, the Arlanda control tower has decided to close taxiway Zulu-Lima. As soon as the taxiway closure NOTAM is entered into the system, the message flows through the Jeppesen AOC systems to be instantly directed to Flight 406 via the VDL Mode 4 Datalink ground station at Stockholm Alanda. On board, the electronic flight bag is updated in real time. Incoming information is presented in a simple graphical form and the intuitive HMI together with graphical representation of the information, makes it straightforward for the air crew to see that the taxiway they were to take has been closed. When the airport operator entered the NOTAM, the information spread seamlessly to the DAIM server and was automatically routed via the Jeppesen server to the end user. Time-based and location-based filtering prior to information transmission not only avoids overloading the aircrew with unnecessary information, it also allows to optimize the available data length bandwidth of VDL Mode 4. On the return flight to Stockholm, another scenario was played out. As the flight approached the airport, Arlander decided to close runway 0826, on which the aircraft was supposed to land. In the same way, the information is seamlessly transmitted to the air crew as soon as it is available, allowing the crew a comfortable margin to change FMS configuration for an alternative approach to runway 19 right. So not only does DAIM enhance air crew situational awareness, it also lowers the workload during critical phases, thereby contributing to higher safety standards. For the first time, Jeppesen, an external partner of the DAIM project, has demonstrated that integration of their solutions into the DAIM infrastructure is feasible.
Jefferson is recognized worldwide for its paper publications. But the November 2009 DAIM flight has conclusively shown that efficient use of electronic data is rapidly becoming a reality.